Um, do 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 do. Is it? Oh yeah, you can't you can't hold the mic. Hike, 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 hike it up. Check, check, check. Oh, shit. We need to put on the Logitech Pro some audio. Now let's check. Bip, dip, dip. Check, check. Warm, warm. Are you home yet? Warm, check. Warm. Check, warm. 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 So we can't call my dad today. Um, oh, we can't? No. He said he needs more notice. Look where he's a star. An internet star. Here we go. Oh, crap. Okay, so what do we want to use as... So we got your ethnicity. Okay. Oh, wow, there's like video lag. What about here? Check lag, lag, lag. Not on this one. Surprisingly. Okay. Here we go. That one. That one. Then we can use this one as an upskirt cam. Great. Sounds good. I feel like that's going to give the show a dynamic new presence. Yay. Is my audio okay? Talk. This is me talking, talking, talking at a normal so voice. Keep an eye there. So, you I need to talk loud. Six. What? You want to hit around negative six? I can't see any of the numbers from here. You can't see that? No, it's it looks dark from the angle. I can't see any of the numbers. Oh, okay. Well, think of it as halfway. Halfway up? Yeah. So, I need to talk louder? Louder than that. Louder, louder, louder. So, I need to yell? Well, here. No, just keep talking in your voice. Talking, talking. This is me talking. Uh, talk, talk, talkity, talk, talk, talk. Talk, 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 to talk, 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 talk. Okay. Okay. What music? Do we decide on music? We've just been using the Neshcom stuff. Mm. We don't have a an official little number. I want. I mean, I feel like we need a theme song. Because every superhero needs his theme music. Can we ask Neshcom to write us a theme song? Neshcom. I'm sure Tropics would. Let's go get some. <laughs> Dear Tropics. Tropics. Write something amazing. Love, Jury Moore. I'm going to post it on Facebook too and see if anybody comes in. How about this? So what is the fastest way? No. Nope. Uh, nope. You know what Hitler is the... No, please. Okay, all right. this last time yeah I think that's what we yeah uh, all right and yeah, let's go to audacity all right are you ready wait I'm putting it on Facebook so people will come watch on Facebook I just want to see what the response is because I posted it once. Dude, people loved it on Facebook. Yeah. Uh, hey, by the way, in the chat room, um, we are going to reveal a shocking, 
shocking results on what my true ethnicity is. So what we're asking everybody is to guess my ethnicity. Uh, if I am telling you that it is a shock, uh, it would be a shock, right? Then, then go ahead and guess. Greek, Hispanic. I mean, that's not really like shocking though, right? I kind of look Greek or Hispanic. South African, that'd be a little bit of a shock, right? Regular ass African, that'd be a shock too. Lebanese, human, Japanese. Human, dirty knees, that'd be a shock. That's awful. <laughs> terrible. And that's terrible. Um, so, ethnicity? Yeah. Um, do we need to talk more about the clothing stuff? We got an update on the clothing, right, with the sash. Possibly. Possible sash update. Okay. Cool. Let's let's just roll with it. We'll work it. Work it. Because we didn't have a meeting. I normally like the way we get, you work it, normally baby. Normally we get uh, shit from the meeting. All right. Here we go. Oh, wait. Hold on. Oh, my God. That was the wrong one. Ignore that sound. All right, here Sorry, we go. Edit this out. Okay. Hello, everyone, and welcome back for Jury More, the podcast. I'm Ashley Paramore. I'm Justin Robert Young. And we're getting married. Man, we're, oh, holy oh, shit. Such marriage, wow. Yeah, dude, the marriage, the amount of marriage we're going to put on everybody is just uh, <laughs> inappropriate. So we finally are successful and you know we mentioned this last week and having an rss feed finally we've got a working website and i decided you know what i've put it on twitter let's go ahead and put it on facebook too yeah and see like just so so people know people know what it is and i already have family members listening to it no, as do you this is a this is a thing like this is this is a uh, a real this is a hit it's a hit podcast already Everyone's going to listen to it, and and I feel like we've already won people over by solving problems by lying on the floor. Uh, mm -hmm. It's already a hit. People are doing it all over the place. Yep. This is why we had to save up a bunch of episodes, because people had to get... It would be weird if it was just one episode in a row, right? All of a sudden, like we drop four. We drop four, and they're like, oh, man, now I can go on a little bit of a journey. Huh? Huh? Just a small town girl. Oh, that journey. Living in a lonely mm. world. Please stop. No, no? Yeah. No, stop. Stop it right now. I thought you liked that song. Do we have some updates? Well, I purchased a dress. You did. I did. You said yes to the dress. I said yes to the dress. Uh, do we want to say what it is? I think we already had, right? Yeah. We're yeah, doing the so Khaleesi dress. I'm doing the Khaleesi wedding gown when she gets married to... Drago. To call Drago. Drago, Drago, potato, potato. Um, it's going to be pretty sweet, guys. I am the mother of dragons. I have two. I just need one Did more. Did that feel weird? Buying a dress? That dress. Your wedding dress. No. You know what? It felt great wouldn't because it? I why know. Why didn't it feel weird? Um. It shouldn't have felt weird? I mean, does it need to? I guess like the only thing that's weird about it, but it doesn't really weird me out, is the whole... Um, it being not a traditional wedding gown, right? Uh -huh. So it is the mother of dragons yeah. wedding gown. Mm -hmm. It actually felt great to buy only because I know how much money so many friends and sp family spend on their wedding dresses. And mine was really cheap in comparison. You've got a, a boner about 
about making this wedding cheaper than other weddings? Uh, yeah, because I don't want to spend ten to twenty five thousand dollars on a wedding like a lot of people do. Is that part of you being like, hey, fuck all y'all like spending this money? Nah, fuck you guys. I mean. I mean, like, it's do you feel be, do you feel better? Do you feel superior to other brides because you are going to have a better time in your wedding dress and spend less on it? I am so superior. No, I mean, it, it's just I. This is supposed to be your wedding day is hypothetically yeah. supposed to be the best day of your life for sure. whatever, right? So Can we all agree. Whenever anybody says that, it's always so weird. It's always like high school, your wedding, like very like basic stuff. Everyone was wrong about high school. Well, I mean, I'm, I'm sure there's some people who had a really good time in high school. Yeah, I don't know about that. I don't know if I... They're do. lying. <laughs> <laughs> um, but no, like, it's supposed to be, quote unquote, the best day of your life. Yeah. And when you finally actually sit down to start planning a wedding, I think everybody knows that weddings are expensive. Um, I just don't think people realize how expensive they are if they haven't been through the process and I know that that was very eye-opening for me and seeing like the average cost for weddings being up near 25 grand which is insane to me I mean people like to go all out for this well and there's because it's a family reunion it's a big thing for a lot of people that you have to pay for yeah and that I guess that's the thing like I didn't it makes me happy to not spend money on our wedding because I don't want to be stressing out about a $25,000 bill, which, you? to be honest, we're not going to have no. for a lot of reasons. That's that, But I think you're just going to find other things to stress out about. Oh, no, I'm doing that already. But, I mean, it would be way more stressful if I had to actually worry about a formal reception. Yeah. And like the cost of that when I first looked into it before we said, well, fuck that noise. Yeah. Um, it was, you know, we we wouldn't have been able for the size of the party that we wanted to get in under 10 grand. You After didn't even tell me the prices. reception hall. You didn't even tell me when, when you were I looking didn't. when you were looking at and not to say that you didn't know them. Right. Like you didn't even get to the point where you would tell me prices. You would just look at me as if the room behind me was on fire. Like, that's what you would just looked at me like, you have no idea what is about to befall you. So let's just talk about something else. Yeah. I it was know. as if I was a ghost and you were like, I know how you die. Yeah. And it's by looking at the bill for this reception. But luckily, we're not doing that. Yay. Instead, I have a really cheap dress. And strangely, your. In comparison. And strangely, your suit is going to cost way more than my dress by the yeah, end. Yeah, that's odd. Which we just bought that. And mm-hmm. once you get it, we're going to have to have it tailored. So as soon as you get it, we got to size you. Tailor it up. Tailor it up. Tailor it up. Tailor it down. I don't know. How do you... How does that work? I don't know. Uh-huh. Yo, uh-huh. yo, yo, yo. Yeah. Uh, all right. So we have the dress. We have the dress. We have the suit. Last episode, we talked about... Uh, I I decided to take out of the settled pile and put back into the discussion pile the idea of groomsmen and bridesmaids uh, dressing uh, in a certain way. Uh, I, I I didn't I wanted I, I basically said that we should do a traditional uh, suit or dress. I was so with, mad when you brought that up. Well, I know, I know. Still but a little salty. But that's are okay. you? Are, is there anything that that you were holding back on the last show that you would like to get out now in in the cold light of day? It's just not really. I mean, it's just that again, we had originally talked about our wedding parties dressing the part yep. of the universe of such things, which Battlestar Galactica is really easy to do because you can still wear a normal ass suit if people want to mm. game of thrones a little bit harder yeah um, these people do wear suits on battlestar they do and dresses and dress and like regular ass dresses yep like human dresses um but we've kind of come to a solution with um the battlestar people and i, I don't remember who brought this up it might have been somebody in the chat it might have been elsewhere this is why now that we're live and people are listening to these episodes, we are now beginning to unleash the full power of this podcast. 
is that when we are at an impasse and we can't think of things and we wanted to be the most creative and explosive wedding in the history of matrimony, we can turn to our friends in the chat realm and they will supply us with an idea as they do at all times. So basically what you're saying is we're like getting a wedding planner for free. We're crowdsourcing the wedding. All right. You know what I mean? Not all of it, but a little bit of it. A little bit. 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 So what's the solution? Well, for the Battlestar dress, the military uniform, actually, there's like a sash that they have for more yeah. formal stuff, too. So all we have to do is make that sash for your party, and they can wear that, and that should be dressed up enough, or at least be enough to hint to, you know, to the Battlestar universe. Yeah. I mean, I guess, can we look that up? Can we see just what that, I mean, do we know what to even look up? I think it's a red it? sash. Just, I don't know. Maybe look Battlestar up. Battlestar Galactica red formal. sash. Formal. Yeah, I don't know. Something like that. Battle, well, let's try. Battlestar Galactica red sash. Let's uh, put this up. easy to upgrade like that game of thrones on the other hand a little bit harder a little bit harder no you have the banners you have something with the sigil yeah but how are they gonna wear that they carry it on pikes i don't uh, <laughs> uh, you don't want your bridesmaids to be processing in with with flags uh, with your standard on it I guess, yeah, we got to figure out what else the Targaryens do. Well, I mean, like, they, they are the ruling family that have brought a golden age of peace and prosperity and industry to Westeros. So, you know, they should, can pretty much do whatever they want. Should we get my dad the hand of the kingpin? The hand of the, not the kingpin, just the not hand the, of the king. The hand of the king is a pin. Oh, I thought you meant not like, a king pin. Yes, That's very like, different. No, no, like 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 daredevils are enemy. No, <laughs> no, totally different. different the hand thing. of the king pin. Yeah, I don't know. It's kind of doughy. It's, you know, <laughs> it's white, unless oh. it's the movie and then it's black. No, oh, my goodness. Uh, so all right, so I would think some maybe it's a similar. We just do a similar sash, right? But with Battlestar, it'll have the Battlestar emblem on it and maybe we just do sashes for the bridesmaids and and they have the house targaryen logo on it yeah maybe something like that oh yeah we'll figure maybe something it's a little out. easier huh i think sashes will look dumb on the on the ladies oh ladies love sashes no this isn't a beauty pageant i'm gonna have because i'm, I'm gonna winner. have a ladies fashion show called sash nope. it up nope nope just nope. Here, Not like, can at, we help nope. i know i know we don't want to do like i don't want to sidetrack here but let's, but let's just, sidetrack. Let's okay. sidetrack real quick. Yeah, I'm going right. to pitch you right now okay. my new show. <clears throat> all all right. right. So you just bring me fashion questions. All right. Okay. So, so um, bring me a fashion question. What's in this season? Well, I like little bits of fabric that go across your chest. Hmm. Like, g Give me an example. I'll show you what I would use it on. Just give me uh, something that you would wear out on a summer day. All right. Um, so I've got a nice little sundress, okay. little sundress on. Uh -huh. It's uh it's nice pastel colors. Sure. Kind of, kind of blue orange. Okay. So it really pops, you know? Uh huh. Do okay. me a favor. Okay. Hashtag sash it up. You don't, I don't. And then there's like music. That's... Hold on. Wait a minute. Like, no, oh, uh, I go like, I go, uh, here we go. Sash it up. <laughs> That's not even good music for a fashion show. No, but then there's like a marching army behind me. Sash it up. Sash it up. No. Sash it up. No. All right. And that's, that's when I changed fine. the channel. Okay. 
Uh, all right, so we're, we're working, but we have a good idea of, of where we want to go with, 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 with this stuff. And hopefully by the beginning of the new year, we, we nail stuff down. Though I think we have like kind of without getting into the excruciating details, because we want some things to remain a surprise for this wedding. Sure. Um, we're holding some stuff close to the vest. Yeah, but there are, um, I think we have the basic format down. Yeah. Finally, where yeah. we're going to do the actual quote unquote wedding and then the kind of reception y looking thing and then at the end have gifts, right? At the end maybe yes, no, a procession of gifts. A procession of gifts. So because that's something that would be traditional in a royal wedding. Mm-hmm. Uh and and so we'll have people make their way and give us gifts and, and some of them will be Theatrical in nature, would that be safe to say? That would be safe to say. Safe to say that there'd be some uh, some jokes, some funny jokes, some laughs, some funny laughs. Ha-ha. Uh, maybe somebody will wind up on the floor. Maybe, maybe. Uh, ben Franklin says, "So you're going to get the entire Diamond Club to get you gifts? Uh, the whole uh, the whole Dragon Con thing makes sense." Well, I mean, like. If, I if you thought that that was what we were gonna do, really, what we're gonna unleash, and I don't think we're not gonna we're not gonna put it out until after the after the new year. Oh well, I mean, it probably won't be till a few months before the registry. Yeah, well, I mean, I, we can put the registry up, but we're not really gonna say much about it till before. We will have a, we will have a gift registry. I don't I don't think a. There's no way in hell we'll really be able to, for the most part, accept gifts at Dragon Con. That's just not feasible, right? Like, I mean... Oh, because we're... Because not only is there only so much we can carry on an airplane, but also we're going on vacation after that. No, uh, there's ways around it. I mean, we have family, uh, family friends in uh, outside of Atlanta that we could always leave it with them. You yeah, because we fly back to Atlanta, right? I'm not saying don't buy us presents. If you want to get us presents, you can get us little presents. But yeah. well, you no, know, well, I, mean, I don't. Was, I, I was only joking about the uh, the the. Well, I mean, I'm not joking about the registry. We're gonna do an Amazon registry and we're gonna put it up live. And if people want to buy us stuff, they can buy us stuff. If not, then that's fine. Uh, but we are gonna do a gift thing. But that's gonna be more theatrical. It's going to be. Uh, we're going to have characters approaching us and giving us things, and they will be jokes. And uh, some some people you may have seen before. <laughs> some people, some famous people that you know from the internet. Uh, okay. Is there any other business business that we came up with within the last week? I don't know that any of it's we want to make public, so okay. we'll have to let's. So let's, that's good. Let's table all. Let's that. huddle later. Later. Um. So before we get into the big reveal, uh, by the way, shout out to uh, uh, Kate. Hi, Kate. Who's watching live and is asking us to please put the most ridiculous items on our registry. Don't you worry. <laughs> uh, let's go ahead and play a little game that I like to call, Who Did You Least Expect to Start Listening to This Podcast? Oh, my goodness. So I'm going to so uh, set up again. You put this up on Facebook, and, and what was what was the reaction to it? It was really good overall, but a lot of family that I was surprised about that actually listened to it. Like, so um, your brother's wife, Carolyn, mm -hmm. listened to it. I didn't, you know, people that I guess I don't expect. I expect people that listen to internety and podcasty things to tune in. Which is pretty much not much of my family and friends in the IRL space, um, aka people that I didn't meet on the internet for the most part. <laughs> um, so all right, I'm I'm scrolling down here. Okay. With a list right. of names of people that you are uh, that that you had comment on your Facebook post. Yes. Uh, who is the most unlikely? Who were you most shocked to see? had listened to the podcast? Uh, my cousin, John. John. He was the one that commented about laying on the floor. So he says, interesting. The podcast is interesting, especially the bit about solving the problem by lying on the floor. And then I responded to him <laughs> about how that's a perfectly acceptable way to deal with life problems. Uh, Pro tip. 
And then, of course, try we it had, with your spouse or we, significant other. We did have a a response by Carolyn. Carolyn yes. is my my uh, newly minted in 2014 sister in law. And I actually am pretty surprised too. Hi, Carolyn. Uh, she wrote, "Just listen to Glory trying to make Gloria Anzalone Young pick her favorite daughter in law and favorite proposal on record. I see your tricks now, and I'm on to you." Well, welcome to the big leagues. Tiny baby Carol. <laughs> uh, I'll definitely be listening to this journey and I'm excited for your big day. Uh, Carolyn's been amazing. She's really, really helped a lot because I mean, the thing, would it be f- fair to say that like you are very much plugged into the party planning element of this, but uh, I don't, am I, am I out of my league to say that you are not necessarily supernaturally in tune to some of the like super girly elements of the marriage? I, I think that is a correct assessment. A, a safe I'm not assumption. not into the super girly stuff. Yeah. You can like the super girly stuff. That's great. But, you know, that wasn't what I was looking for. And, you know. But I think Carolyn is good because, I mean, uh, Carolyn and my mom are, are both, they, they can give you a safe space to exhibit any interest that you would want to yes. exhibit in, in the girly stuff. Because, yes. like, you, you can't come to me. Like, we're the ones planning it effectively. You can't come to me and be like, oh, I want to indulge in these kind of girly elements of of stuff. I mean, I'm just my eyes are going to glaze over. Right. Yeah. Because I'm not good at planning in general, let alone stuff that I don't find interesting. Carolyn and my mom. It's a good it's a safe harbor. Yeah. I'm glad that she's around. Yeah. They've been they've been really helpful. Uh, All right. So now we've played the game of who's uh, uh, least likely if you. Are, are one of our family members and you think that you would be the least likely person to listen to this podcast, then just go ahead and respond on, on Ashley's Facebook or my Facebook and uh, we'll shout you out here on the show. We want really weird members of our family. And I don't mean weird as in like you're super odd. I just mean <laughs> no, people you're that we would really not odd. Not That's why we haven't talked in five years. <laughs> people uh, that you would not <laughs> expect to listen to the show. Friends or family, go ahead. Yeah. And, and we want to connect on this because again, this is a, a memento for us right yeah. this is this is a little you know this is a vanity podcast on a lot of levels that we can just always look back on yep so look after at us our, look at us look at us after our horrifying divorce and we yeah. wonder what went so wrong yep so wrong so and then we'll realize that what really went wrong is that we didn't stick with the you know the wedding party being in theme we can look back at that two years from now <laughs> cutting so oh, you cut to goodness. the core of me actually <laughs> Uh, All right, Uh, so let's go ahead and get to the big reveal. We asked you guys last episode to to, to guess where I am really from. And and by that, I mean, uh, we went to Ancestry.com. We got our DNA sequence so we can make sure that we were not uh, related. And we found out I'm white. Uh, we found out Very that Ashley white. is a poo-poo platter of white people mm-hmm. uh, that all joined together like Voltron to make a very white person. Yep. And we found out that I have a lot of the countries that we would expect, but one major percentage that was very surprising. So I'm not going to review all of the little itty bits of what makes up Justin. Yeah. Uh, but the biggest percentages were 28% of Italy slash Greece, mm-hmm. 10% of Native American, which is your South American, Yeah. which we knew about. And then 32% was the big surprising one. All right. So let's go uh, ahead through. I have a bunch what, of Twitter responses. Okay. What too. some of the guesses were. We have a uh, Hispanic. Mi- uh, Metzula says unicorn, mostly unicorn. Sun Bun says South um, South African. Uh, uh, Johnny Gadfly on Twitter says white as a Romney at a polka festival. <laughs> Devo says pygmy. Uh, Night Attack Picks says Arab American. Dark Man 220, Klingon. Ryan Alcott, cow blau Asian. <laughs> what? Cow blau Asian, Caucasian black Asian. Oh, okay. I don't know how to say that. Uh, Sun Bun says Pol Pot. Blue Lantern 18, Mexican, Chinese, Jamaican, or Klingon. Uh, and then we have a, a, a Tuvulian by Mollusk. Mm. All right. So first, 
how surprised were you by this? Like, what did you think? What What were you expecting again? Just to recap. I, but I do agree agree with uh, Devo Devo's Neanderthal. Yeah, uh, that, I mean that's pretty, pretty accurate. Obvi. Totes Dothraki. Dothraki. Ooh, that's a good one. Makes sense. Uh, all right, I was surprised by this because I do not know any family from there. None of my family has ever referred to this region. I don't feel like of all the ethnicities that I do resemble, but am not or at least I'm not a majority of, nobody would ever confuse me. Yawn. As being somebody from this region. So it was, it was, it was surprising, and I guess I would have to assume that it's, it's the Germanic portion of my family that, that at some point like, like resettled from this region into Germany. Because I have German on both sides of the family. I have German on my dad's side and German on my mom's side. So who knows which side it came from, but I don't know. I'm sure it's probably one of those very obvious European migrations through history. Yeah. Actually, it might it might actually say an ancestry because it gives you um, like migration patterns. Migration. Is that right? Yeah. Okay. Um... Oh, come on. You're not good mobile version. <laughs> uh, were you surprised by it? I was, actually. I was I was surprised, except um, as I first noted to you, I was like, well, that explains the beard. Mm-hmm. 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 Uh, we keep getting more of them in. Iraqi, Czech, Eskimo, North Korean. No. No one's got it. Are you surprised that no one's I got think it? Somebody had it close uh, right before we started listing them. Really? Yeah. Gypsy, Bohemian, Polish. Should we just give it up? I think we should. I can't believe no one's got it. Drum roll. Justin Robert Young is 32%. Scandinavian. Scandinavian, ladies and gentlemen. I have some Viking blood coursing through my veins. Skull. You know, and, and strangely, like most of the ancestry stuff is just talking about Vikings. Age of the Vikings. So, yeah. Yeah, dude. Look at that. Apparently, I got little... they went everywhere. Look at that. Oh, dude. No, Vikings got around, man. Vikings got it on. All that raping and pillaging going on. You know, I, look, I, I, I have Ikea, a really, says Sunburn. I have a hard Sunburn. time with you slandering my people. <laughs> uh, dude, I was very surprised by this. And it does explain why I've never had a problem putting together Ikea furniture. I actually rather like putting together Ikea furniture. Yeah. Uh, That'll be great for when we get that loft bed. Are we going to bring this fight onto the podcast? <laughs> You're not no. going to be satisfied until I kill myself falling out of a loft bed in the middle of the night. Anyway. We got we to put me in the will first. Uh, we, uh, yeah, no, it was, it was a big, a big shock. Yeah. Uh, uh, that that I am I am the uh, the the son of Ragnarok. That's pretty sweet. Do, I want to be a Valkyrie. Me, do you look at me differently now that I'm a Viking? Um, I'm hoping that it doesn't give you excuses for not shaving your beard. You're a Viking, Justin, like your father before you, or maybe you, I don't know. We don't know no. which side it was on. We don't. Maybe I should build out a family tree for you. Maybe I should try that. Maybe. Maybe we'll find out. Have we gone on here about how you've become obsessed with Ancestry.com? I am obsessed with Ancestry.com, guys. <laughs> a so little word to the wise. I want to hear from anybody whose significant other has gone down the Ancestry hall. But and, I found a lot. And I'm right? making I'm really cool I'm not saying that it's presents. not good. I'm not saying it's not good. I'm saying that you've gone down the rabbit hole and I want to hear from other people whose significant other have gone down the ancestry.com rabbit hole. Mm. Justin Robert young at gmail.com. Put jury more in the subject line. That is J U R Y M O R E in the subject line. Uh, is there anything else you want to have people uh, did, write in about? Did we get any email that we should go over? No, I think people, the stuff got up too late. So, okay. so uh, from here on out, the end of the episode will be email 
uh, if you guys write it in. But we want uh, so so going forward. Now that we're talking live yeah. every every week, uh, well, uh, I think we're, the email. I mean, uh, I think relationship questions. Yep. We'll answer. We'll take advice. You got some advice? That'd be great. Love it. Get it all in here. I'm just gonna let we'll you know. Mock it. If we think the advice is dumb, we're gonna say it's dumb. Well, but we probably won't. So dumb. Uh, we we probably will think it's uh think it's awesome. Uh, if you want to comment about how I am a true North Viking, and uh, I exp- uh, I it explains why I conquer with my epic beard. You don't conquer anything. I'm a conqueror. No, you don't. I love conquering. Oh my god, guys, it's getting to his head. Don't make me R and P you. What? Oh, oh, <laughs> no. That's bad. That is bad. Don't R and B anyone. Oh, you're bad. Oh. All right. Uh, um, that about wraps it up. Oh, one more thing. If you guys uh, make us music, we might use it. <laughs> yeah. No. Definitely. Because we're we're uh, we're running a little dry aside from a uh, aside from our lovely tropics and uh, Nashcom. Um. Yeah. So no. Go ahead and uh, and uh, if you are a musician and you want to have your song on the show, uh, we're just gonna keep rotating theme musics until we find one that we really really like. And if you have any ideas still for the bridal party, if they're wearing some normal ass dresses, how to Game of Thrones it up some more, let us know. Yeah, that's what we're looking for. Again, all of that to justinrobertyoung at gmail.com. Put Jury Moore in the subject line, J-U-R-Y-M-O-R-E. Ashley, any uh, any last words? Nope. Just follow me on Twitter at Healthy Addict. And, and can, subscribe to our RSS feed. And you can follow me, Justin R. Young, on everything. Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter, anything else you can possibly think of. Until uh, until next time, keep getting married. Marry or not, you don't have to get married. Sash it up. Filth. I am. Sorry, oh, your 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 mic was turned down. It was. Oh, you're fucking Scandinavian filth. I am fucking Scandinavian filth. You are no. fucking Scandinavian filth. Oh, that is really gross. Now Boom, that I think about it. Boom, bitch. Ugh. Uh. Okay. So that's the the magic that you learn is that now we actually know what Justin's ethnicity is. I'm shocked that it was that big. Like I mean, uh, who knows whatever little traces show up? But the fact that it was a it was a big old chunk of my shit, I would I was shocked by that. Yeah. So you are also Whitey McWhiterston. Surprise. Jury facts. Someone also said see you. I missed that one. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, are you gonna try and get to the gym? I am. Okay. Uh, all right, I'm guys. Gonna climb some rocks, guys. Uh, we're gonna shut this shit down. Thanks for joining us. Uh, now that we got the black magic cards, we're gonna get shit set up so we can actually like make this more of a actual thing. And Ashley can sit, and I can sit, and we can actually look at each other and do the show and have it look yeah. good. Yeah, that would be fun. It would be do like shot, we have a, reverse shot. We can have like a grown up studio, yeah, guys. Ah, studio. I love studios. No, don't, too don't close. even. Too, too close. close. Too close. <laughs> actually. That's what's going to end this marriage is your is shitty, voices? annoying voices. Really? Really. Don't even, don't even for coming that's to God good, you. I will <laughs> slap you in the face right that's now. That's a good, that's I'm a good. I'm not even lying. Right, no, no. We're going to do an episode. Just, let's just write down on like, if we need episode topics, we're going to do the hierarchy of the voices you hate the most. Ugh. And, and we're going to, we're going to get the inside scoop on why you hate the voices. Which one? The ones, one time only, the voices are going to come back. From the the shotgun. Ugh. Okay. Uh, friends, we're going away. Uh, I love you guys, and we I will love talk you. to you later. Uh, oh fuck! I forgot to record this. What? Oh, the video. Yeah. It's okay.
Leon will put it. Hey, Leon, you in the chat? Leon. 